morning, I'm Hazel Jarvis. We are going to do a barn today, but trigger warning, it does involve some waiting. And this is our inspiration, a shed in Belfast, Maine. Not actually a barn, but still a shed and a good one. A quick practice pencil sketch. And I decide it would be fun to have one of the doors of the shed open. I do a very quick uh, sketch in my journal just for practice. I drop some clean water on my yellow number 40 and I just start to paint in some yellow in the center of my page. And then we can add just a little bit more towards the edges. So referencing our photo, we're going to start to draw in our shed. Give it a lovely low swoop to the roof. We'll draw in the windows. And we're going to draw in the doors and as noted before we're going to make one of them open. And here is our finished drawing. Over our yellow background we're going to put some periwinkle or lavender 61 over the sky. Next, we're going to put in the trees at the back, so we're going to mix up some lovely dark color. And we'll give our shed a nice crisp outline. While we wait for the woods at the back to dry, we're going to take more lavender and we're going to put it over on this side of the shed. So it goes around the windows. And then you'll just bring it down. Again, a nice crisp line is really nice. We'll take a little bit of a lovely dark blue-brown and put in the window. And the inside, the interior of the barn or the shed. Same lavender we're going to put in the inside of the door and my woods aren't exactly dry enough so I'm just going to leave a little rim of light. We'll put in just a little bit of shadow up here too under the roof line and a tiny bit under the sill of the window. Plus, just to suggest that the door is warped a little, we'll put a little bit on here. Thin line here, again, just for the roof line. If the woods behind are dry enough, you can paint in the roof. And 
I'll put a little bit of this same lavender orange mix just at the base of the We want our shed to glow, so we're going to add some grass. So I mix up a puddle of orange and blue. It goes up against the woods, around the door. So annoyingly, for a simple painting, there's rather a lot of waiting involved. You don't want to put your hand in the wet paint. We're going to, but we're going to do the window. Outline it like that. And we're going to define the door. We'll crisp up the shapes of the windows here. Maybe go a little darker. I want a, a little more shadow under the roof. So I mix up a little bit of brown in with my periwinkle and I go back in under the roof. I want to add the roof shingles in pencil. So basically I just go back and forth and I exaggerate that sag in the roof. We'll take a nice small brush and start to put in some lines on this side. And you don't want to do too many and then you can do some more over on this side. My woods have dried lighter than I want them so I'm going to go back to my nice dark green and put in some more. I can even mix a little bit of black in with the green too. Just go back and forth, suggest the pine woods. With my PH Martins white, I'm going to put in the window panes. I'm going to put a little bit of shadow here, just where the side of the barn meets the ground. And some shadow actually on the ground. And finally, to tie the woods into the foreground, we'll put just a little bit of foliage in, just up front. And I finish off with a little more black up here. Really fun, pretty fast, if you discount the weights in between, and a really nice way to depict a simple building. I can't wait to see what you do.